Imagine this. The Lord Jesus comes to me and he says, I came to choose you. I have purchased you with my own precious blood. I am giving you in my hands. I'm offering you salvation through those wounds. I'm offering you salvation. Will you accept? I said, yes, Lord, I accept. I agree. Thank you so much for this salvation. I received salvation. The Lord says, follow me. Then I started following the Lord. As I followed him one day, one month, one year, 10 years, 20, 30, 40 years, along the way, people started going against me. Imagine after following the Lord and accepting the Lord in my life as Lord and Savior, then I became a target where people started punching me, kicking me and ridiculing me. What am I going to do? Say to the Lord, time out, Lord, enough is enough. That's it. I've had enough. I'm walking away. Where is your patience? Are you going to deny the Lord just because someone went against you and gave you hell? Not a hard time, hell. Yeah? Oh, it's, it's good to be in hell, by the way. Have you been to hell? Well, man, one of those days I'll take you with me. <laughs> you see, if you don't let the Lord take over, if you don't let the Lord be the true teacher, you'll never understand. You'll never understand. It takes hell to appreciate heaven. And it takes darkness to appreciate the light. And it, it, it takes brokenness, failure, to the core to appreciate wholesomeness and success. The Lord will allow persecution come our way for our own benefit and growth. And without persecution, we will never ever be able to start understanding the concept of humility and without humility there is no God because humility gives you wisdom and wisdom only God gives not universities When we read in the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 5, you know, the Mount of Beatitudes. What did the Lord Jesus say? He came to teach us, blessed are the poor in, in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Eight blessings or nine blessings. After the nine blessings, that is my lesson. I went to Jesus Christ's school of thought and I studied theology at the hand of the teacher and the master of all. So Jesus Christ taught me all these blessings. And then at the end of my hard studies for years, I, the time came to graduate from the University of Theology of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When I graduated, I thought that said it's over now. I can enjoy the success. He says, no, after graduation, you will be kicked, punched, dragged in the street, ridiculed and cast out. Congratulations. Are you patient enough? Are you patient enough? The first coming we need to be patient in order to be glorified in his second coming. An example, one person studies so hard for so many years to become a doctor. It required a lot of patience in order to be a doctor. But after all those many hard years of studying and sacrificing, that person became a doctor. But after all that hard work, the reward is awaiting. I became a doctor and I started helping people, healing people. When I am an honest doctor, I started helping people and healing people. 
So those hardships, I got the reward for them. I thank the Lord. I thank the Lord. So Christ's first coming, salvation. Those who accepted him received salvation, but they needed to be patient because persecution followed salvation. And then in Matthew 24, 13, the Lord is saying, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Not saved once, saved forever. No such thing. You need to endure till the end in order to be saved. In the second coming of Christ, when we see all those people in the Lord's glory, we will be shocked. Why? Because on earth, we looked at people and we thought of them not much. But in heaven, whoa, those who were on earth, nothing to us, in heaven we saw them, everything. Don't judge. Don't judge the book by its cover. Yes, I may look kind of old from outside and worn out, but from inside, I'm renewed like an eagle. So I'm not going to die in two weeks. On earth, we pass so many people by and we don't even think anything of them. In heaven, we're going to see them shining like a sun. Wow. Because those people whom you thought not much of, they were hidden in Christ on earth. Christ revealed them at the end. They accepted so much for the Lord, for His sake. They accepted persecutions and they kept their silence. They kept their patience. They trusted in the Lord and they hoped for in the Lord's salvation and they were awaiting the glorious moment on His second return. Lord, I was ridiculed on earth. I became a nothing. They stepped on me. They treated me as if I am an absolute nothing. But when you came, you rewarded and you paid everyone accordingly. They saw their place and you showed me my place. When I am patient, awaiting for your second coming, and the first coming, you gave me salvation. And through salvation, persecution, you, by your grace, I was patient till the second coming happens. And when I endured till the end, when you came the second time, you gave me, after salvation, glory. Glory. <laughs>